In today's video, I'm gonna be unboxing one of the trendiest current modern small leather goods slash handbag and I'm gonna show you what it fits and whether you need it as well. Hello, my name is Amy and on this channel, we're all about making the savviest and stylish decisions around luxury fashion. So if you're new here, consider subscribing. The item came in this shopping bag and of course, the proof of purchase. Like I said, it is considered a small leather goods but a lot of people do use it more as a bag, including myself. And this is from the newest collection. So it is a seasonal color. I don't know if that's even giving it away since I kind of talk about this color a lot on my recent overview of the fall winter collection, the 20K collection. So if you haven't watched this, I'm gonna link it up here. It is also an item that was part of my most recent wish list that you might have also seen in our live show. Little booklet and something new. Actually, there's a care card now. This is definitely new. I've never received this care card before. Small dust bag and these dust bags are commonly given to smaller the goods to reveal. Oh, it's so pretty. This is called the phone holder, I think, or phone clutch with chain. I am not sure because Chanel doesn't really ever have official names for their items. This one is part of the 20K collection, which is the Fall Winter Act 2 collection, which is why I said is in a seasonal color. So this is the beautiful burgundy caviar. Hopefully the camera will be able to capture it. Otherwise, you'll just have to rely on my description. But basically, this is my Gabrielle bag in the burgundy color from the 19, uh, 19B collection. So last year's fall winter act one. And then this one is my newest little item. Obviously they're in different leather. So that sometimes can make a difference. My Gabrielle does have more of a purple tone. Whereas this one definitely has more of a red tone, but they're so very similar. Why I say that it's one of the trendiest or modern accessories nowadays is because I feel like especially this year, even though we're supposed to go back to larger size bag, you know, like the Bottega really large dumpling or uh, some of the larger totes, supposedly we're going back to the larger size bags, but because 2020 happened, I feel like more people are uh, kind of going back to the minis because me included because I just don't really want to bring anything if if possible so that I don't have to constantly touch my belongings and bring it back home. So whatever minimum stuff I can bring and sanitize every time I come home, the better. So I feel like a phone clutch is not only a very modern accessory, but it's also really appropriate for this year. I do run into scenarios where uh, for example, if I go over to a family's gathering and all you really need is just your phone and your ID and your keys, but you're rarely even reaching into your phone because of course, when you're at a gathering, you're usually socializing. So it's just in case just to have these things around. So I'm super excited to try this and see how it works out for my lifestyle. I'm actually quite surprised at the size of it. It looks way bigger than um, I ever thought. I definitely want to model this and see what it fits. Before I show you any further, I just wanted to shout out and also thank Samorga for sponsoring this part of the video. They have kindly sent me these beautiful bag chains. They're very well known for their custom organizers for handbags, but now they have a brand new product, which are basically uh, hand straps and like little hooks and um, I guess I'm gonna be using this as kind of like a keychain thing. These are just a handful of the styles that they have. I have right here the clear color acrylic handle, I guess top handle strap, and it comes with these uh, swivel gold clips. And apparently all their hardware are plated in real gold. I think for the gold hardware is 22 karat gold plated. And for all the silver hardware, it's nickel plated. I also got these uh, just plain circle little clasp. 
so it could be any it could be used for anything actually i've seen that you can use that as like a stopper underneath a classic flap so let's try that later pearl strap also a short top handle and i believe this is the style number one anyway i'll be linking those down below and i uh, got it in the silver so the nickel plated it's so very pretty i'm really excited about this this is another pearl strap but it does have a break in between or i guess like depending on how um where the the chain is how it's laying then it, the the pearls will also move around as such so as you can see compared to this one it's slightly longer because uh, and then it has less pearls so that it does have sort of room to move around finally i have this sort of clip um thingamajiggy i don't know how to call it but it's pretty versatile again it can be clipped into maybe one of your bags and then you can hook onto uh, an slg or um, i don't know whatever that you need i feel like it's so beautifully made the, the color, like the gold color of this is just so stunning. So let's have a play with them after I show you what fits in the foam clutch. This color is really taking my breath away. I originally wanted it in the black color just because black goes with everything, but it was completely sold out. Um, according to my essay, apparently the color black never even came to our store. And she said that we only received this style of bag in this color so uh i just i just got it because i'm like let's do it because i believe that these are pretty hard to get as well and i forgot the price as of the day of filming anyway um the price is 2500 canadian plus taxes and i do get asked very often about uh, taxes here in canada you can just look it up our taxes can range up to 15 percent so add on an additional percentage on top of the retail price so uh, for you guys international shoppers that's the info but you can easily look it up because google you can look up anything it does have card slots built in it has two on the back and two in the front let's just put my large size this is the max size phone i have the iphone 10s max and unless you have the newest iPhone Pro Max 12, which is not even out yet, uh, the largest size iPhone is this size. And um, it fits right in. So as you can see, it does sort of bulge out a little bit from the top, but it does close because you do have a little bit of space. The likelihood of me not going back to another larger size phone in the future is very low because i'm just so used to it so rest assured that even the largest the current largest iphone will fit not the largest iphone 12 that one is bigger but um that might that one might fit too anyway because there's still a little bit of space inside actually so that one might still fit anyway this is the minimum of items that i would like to fit in this little bag six key holder i have my card holder and i have my max phone and then on my right hand i have a lip balm a hand sanitizer and my card keys good news i was able to fit all of that inside and there is actually no there isn't really space because you need to be able to close it comfortably so i would say that this is pretty much the max and i would say that it is sort of a tight squeeze but it's not too too bad so on this side as you can see there's not too much bulging just a like a little bit over here uh, but on this side you can see a bit more bulging because of my hand sanitizer that little bottle is kind of sticking out but it doesn't bulge out from the bag it's just that on the side gusset uh, it does sort of i mean this is expandable right so it's kind of a little bit pushed out but otherwise it's um <laughs> it fits all of that so it's a little heavy now i also want to point out that there is this little slip pocket in the back i feel like it's a bit tight especially if you do have things inside i feel like it would be a good place to put let's say a parking stub or uh, just something that you just want to know that it's there and you won't be reaching in too often but that you know that once you want to find it it's there so that would be a nice pocket for that all right opening it up so as you can see my lip balm and my car keys are sitting right on the top 
area here and it's just uh, free roaming basically on top of everything else. You can see that my phone is in the back. I'm sure you can put it in the front too. Down in there is the card holder and the key holder as well as the hand sanitizer that's sticking out on this side. So I would say that if you want to utilize those built-in card slots, then you might not need your card holder. And if you don't need your card holder, then you are actually saving this space in width. The reason why I like this clutch, or at least I thought that I would like this clutch, is because of the fact that every time you open it, you can still kind of yank it a bit open to, say, find your phone or find your card holder or whatnot. It's not like it's very constricting. Of course, when you close it, you do have to sort of squeeze it in a little bit before you are able to push the flap down uh, because that's just how it's kind of a little narrower on top, but it does stretch out and it does fit everything that I need. I've always wanted to add a proper handle on this tweed bag so that I can avoid wearing it crossbody too often. And this is so perfect. Oh my goodness. Look how nicely it drapes on the bag. Oh, wow. Okay, so the way it works, as you can see, this little clip here, the original clip does protrude a little bit. But the trick is to use those extra clips that you get separately and hook it into that uh, clip on the chain to sort of block it from going anywhere. And in fact, these are pretty large size clips. I wonder the clips that is on this chain, on this acrylic chain, because this is a smaller size clip than the uh, the ones that you would buy extra. But anyway, this is how this looks on the mini square. I do want to let you know that because these clips are pretty small, they fit just right when you get it into that uh, little grommet area through the leather. So just be extra careful, especially if you have a lambskin bag. Make sure that you open the clip all the way to the maximum and try your hardest to really work it in maybe without the chain so that you can have more control but yeah definitely definitely be really careful especially if you have a lambskin bag I switched it up and i used the pearl strap the shorter one on the mini square this time i did end up using the smaller the smaller little hooks that came with the acrylic strap look at the difference this bigger one has a much thicker gird as well in case you're wondering if i can use those straps on this bag the answer is no because these tiny little grommets are very tiny this is the same strap on the jumbo size single flap as you can see i put it on the furthest grommet all right so this is how it looks with the longer chain this is the perfect drop so again i put it on the furthest grommet and as you can see even though i'm mixing metals it still looks really good i really do like this gold tone hardware that they're using the 22 karat gold is perfection and i love that with this chain so when you hold it these beads these pearls do move around so you still get a lot of the bead detail but you can also uh, be able to hold it on the chain part which is to me is actually more comfortable but then when you drop it then uh, it just moves back to um, the middle or you can just move it back to the middle like that i think it's so so pretty let's try this on it's so obviously you can still wear it on the shoulder and just use it as a decorative strap but a lot of times when i want to grab my bag really fast from say the car seat i like to have a shorter handle and i really think that this would come in super handy oh i love this this is so cute this is the perfect length for the jumbo and i would assume for the medium flap would probably be really good as well and i love this gold hardware is really adding extra life to this silver hardware bag actually oh my gosh it's so good as a top handle bag if you use the longer pearl chain on this larger pouch on your uh larger mincy pochette this is how it would look like i don't know if you'll ever want to use it on the mini pochette or on your small pouch from your mincy pochette but this is how it looks like it's so <laughs> stinking cute so yeah, any bags that have extra hooks, super cute as a top handle. If you guys want to use this chain as a wristlet on your bags, 
I think this is super cute. I just hooked it back onto its own lobster claw on this bag. It's so, so darn cool if you ask me. It just For reference, I'm 5 feet 4 inches tall on the slimmer side. So this is how the bag sits on me. My hip bone is right here and the top of the bag sits right on my hip bone. So I think it's a pretty good length. And I think it's so cute. This color is gorgeous. It's very different from just plain black, I guess. And uh, yeah, so this is how it looks on me. By the way, this is how it looks as a shoulder bag. I still think that it's pretty cute because I think the size is small enough that it's acceptable as even a shoulder bag. It just looks like a very funky little modern little bag, but it fit everything I needed. Just as a reference for color, this is them side by side on me. They honestly look so similar. I would say that they're pretty much the same because they are different leathers and sometimes that can make a difference to you. But yeah, they are so very similar and both of them are gorgeous and looks really, really amazing on this blazer that I'm wearing as a blazer dress. But I can also turn it into sort of like a fall transitional outfit. I think it's such a good buy and I feel like the price point is really worth it. It just looks so modern. Like I feel like such a blogger vibe right now. So as you can see, the possibilities are endless. I had the most fun with the pearl chains, to be honest. I especially like this shorter one on the rectangle minis. I think it is the perfect drop and it looks the best on rectangle minis. I really did like this one on the jumbo flap. I also really enjoyed this chain. I just think that this is a really versatile piece. You can even use it inside your larger bag to hook onto keys or a little coin purse. Let me know if you want me to try these chains on any other bags that I own and uh, maybe I'll do another video with them or I can maybe show you on Instagram. By the way, this is leather lined. I forgot to mention that. So it is really, really good value for your money. But not only that, I find it super functional, especially because I have a specific need for a tiny little bag that only fits your phone and a couple essentials. So that's pretty much the reason why I wanted it. But I also like the fact that it's Chanel. I just feel like it's so cool looking. I don't know, it just really worked with my outfit today. Let me know if this is something that you would need in your life as well. Or do you think that it's just too small or you'd rather just use your mini bags? Very curious to know. Thank you all so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, I would love to have you back. So please do consider subscribing. I'm also going to pop a few videos on the side. And I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!